most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Good morning, everybody. Midway through the week, midway through the month today, and we start in Shippensburg here at the university. It's quiet as uh, the semester rolling on and soon Thanksgiving break for a lot of campuses. It's quiet this morning. And that's what we like to see. This is Harrisburg too. looking good. We've got some stars out. It's clear. I was able to see some constellations on my way into work this morning. It was a very pretty drive and uh, it's just cold. It is that time of year. 23 degrees in Louisville this morning. Many of us are going to deal with a hard frost again. 27 in Lidditz at Warwick Middle School, St. Pat's School in Carlisle at 28 and Lancaster Country Day School at 30. So all of the uh, sites on, on this graphic here at least are below 32 degrees and I think a lot of us are yesterday. That was the official low at the airport. We did get to 58 though and I and I remember saying yesterday too that it was possible with the sunshine we could get into the upper 50s. The normal right now is 54. I think it's possible we get to near 60 today. We've been outperforming model guidance, so no reason not to go warm and of course no rain yesterday. So we've got a few clouds to our south from a broader system that continues to impact the Gulf Coast states and our uh, southern tier of the uh, country. Our southern tier here locally getting a few clouds. That's about it. Most of us are clear this morning. Temperatures for the most part are below freezing. 31 in Lancaster. We've got 30 in Chambersburg down to 26 in York. Uh, that's one of the coldest spots on this map. A lot of the cities are in the 30s. May not be as frosty as the other morning, but this is still a bit cooler than yesterday. Harrisburg even, but a 10 degree drop in Altoona and Hagerstown. Even Philly, Lancaster and York a few degrees cooler than yesterday. So we've got a few clouds from the north and a few clouds from the south. So they are going to be moving toward us today and we will see perhaps a few more clouds from time to time than we did on Monday and Tuesday because of it. But it is still going to be dry because even though we've got clouds, we still have high pressure here over top of us. So the showers are across uh, the Gulf Coast and the southeastern part of the country. We stay dry. Another dry front will be moving in. Uh, but this time we're actually going to get warmer, mild air surging in here for the rest of the week, and that would include today. So a few clouds around from time to time on this Wednesday, but temperature should make a run at 60 tomorrow. Nice, sunny, low 60s, not a cloud to be had. And then Friday looks good too. I don't think we will see any rain during the day. We are going to see increasing clouds during the day on Friday and then a few showers by Friday overnight. But again, not a lot of rain with that. So today a little breeze at times at about 10 miles an hour. Uh, I do anticipate uh, that breeze to uh, be from the south and that will help to take us close to 60. Close to 60 today. Very close. So we hit 58 yesterday. No reason to think we won't be a little warmer today with that uh, southwest wind. So listen, uh, we are uh, just about to that time of year, Thanksgiving, one week from today, the big travel day. Let's take you through starting uh, tomorrow here. This is the front that's going to come through Friday night into Saturday. OK, so we get a few light showers. We clear out this weekend. It does turn cooler and then Thanksgiving week. Now Tuesday actually looks to be our first sign of some rain, but this could be some significant rain later Tuesday into Wednesday morning, and then we will clear out Wednesday afternoon for a nice what I think looks like a nice Thanksgiving here. So and it would be even nicer, even sweeter if we could get a significant amount of rain leading up to that. So sunny and chilly Thanksgiving morning in the 30s. Looking ahead to next Thursday, mostly sunny, pleasant, dry temperatures should be in the low 50s for highs, and that's where we should be for Thanksgiving. 60 degrees today, a little milder than it should be, but we'll take it. Partly cloudy tonight, 34, mostly clear, and uh, I think a nice a few days on the way, including tomorrow, milder at 63. Friday will be nice at 67 degrees, but there will be some clouds rolling in here ahead of a front that will produce some showers overnight. But again, not a lot of rain with that. The weekend looks dry. It will be breezy and cooler, and then the start of Thanksgiving week looks good, but some showers on the way later Tuesday into Wednesday could be significant rain Wednesday, and we will mm. we will take it. That doesn't line up nicely with the big travel day, but we do need that rain and better rain than snow. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. All right. Stay with us. We'll